Welcome back to the Homestead Friends. I promised you that I would show you how we were protecting our chickens that we separated and moved to our new metal coop. Well, here it is. It's really simple. It's an electrified poultry fence that you can use for other things, but this one I liked a lot and let me tell you why. So first off, you can see my border collie is trying to herd the chickens and he can run all the way around it. He has touched it one time and gone running across the property yelping. He wasn't hurt, obviously. He's still here turning circles around it, but he has not touched it since. One and done. And that's the same thing for both of our cats. So of course, everything likes to eat chicken. We have a lot of raccoons in the area, although the dog helps keep those away. We've got a lot of other predators, possums and things like that. He does a great job of keeping them away as well, but we've got stray cats. He loves cats, he loves ours, so those stray cats come in. And our cats touched it once, like I said, and they were done. They don't go near the thing. So one of the reasons why I liked this brand, which is called Power Fields, is because they had a fence that came in a shorter length. Most of these fencing lengths that you can find for all the other brands are 164 feet long, which is an odd size, but they are all that size. Power Fields did have a 164 foot long one, but they also had an 82 foot long one. Obviously that's half of 164, but they also had a 100 foot one. So when I did the calculations about how much space I wanted around our metal chicken coop, I needed about a hundred feet, give or take. And this worked out perfectly. Now, the other thing that I liked was that they also produce their own energizers. So whether that be uh, AC powered or solar powered, they have their own, which match up with their fences. And it's really important to match up those energy specs on both the energizer and the fence, because if you have too many jewels pumping out of your energizer, you're gonna burn out the fence. But if you don't have enough power in joules coming out of the energizer, then your fence isn't gonna work as well and it's not gonna keep away the predators. So this fence, being a shorter fence, only needs 0.15 joules of energy to energize it properly. And the energizer that I got produces 0.15 joules. So this energizer is great. You can actually power it two ways. So it does have an AC plug, which you can plug into any outlet. And then obviously it's solar. So for us, we needed to be able to move this coop around and I needed a solar energizer. This one is super simple. You just connect the positive to this side on the red and the negative on this side to the green. Then on the fence, you connect the positive to the orange wires, which are, I guess, reddish. And the other one, the green to the green. Now these solar energizers, you can't really sit on the ground. I have mine up on a block only because I need to buy another T-post for it to go up on. Face it in a southerly direction, actually southeast so it gets more morning sun and you're good to go. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of extra stakes in here and that is just because of the shape that I wanted it in. I had to go buy extra stakes. It comes with six uh, built-in stakes into the netting itself, but that just wasn't working for us. Now that's not a big deal because these extra stakes are like a buck 70 at Tractor Supply. So you can pick up as many as you need for the application that you need it for. So I've seen the fence in action. Like I said, it works really well. We haven't had any problems with predators getting in here. We've got tons of coyotes in the area, a lot of raccoons. Maybe my dog keeps them away, but nothing has bothered these chickens except for my border collie running circles around them all day long. But it keeps the dog busy and I think he thinks he's doing work for me. Okay, let's talk about one of the biggest things why I like this, the price. So this isn't some off-brand unit. It's actually carried at Tractor Supply online, although I've never seen it in stores in Texas. It, they may have it in your area, but the price I think is probably gonna be higher. So I didn't pay much for this because I bought it on a, a website called Stateline Tack. And they have obviously a lot of stuff for horses, but they have other things like this and their prices were 
unbelievable. I looked on Amazon and you guys know I'm an Amazon affiliate. So I recommend products that are good and I put them in the links below and those links help out our channel, so on and so forth. This one, I'm not affiliated with these guys, although I'd like to because their pricing is unreal. This thing cost me, I think it cost me a total of $307 free shipping and every other place that I could find this brand, it was outrageous. It was not double the price, but it was at least 40 percent higher 40 to 50 percent higher which is crazy so state line tack i will put the link in the description below like i said i'm not an affiliate so head over there state line if you're listening your prices are awesome so if you're looking for a fairly inexpensive way to keep predators out of your mobile chicken coops away from your chicken tractors and just away from your uh, poultry and or fowl in general this is the way to go it wasn't that expensive and in the long run uh, i think it's going to be a fantastic investment for the money that i paid for it and like i said we've had zero problems with any predators getting near this thing i hope this was helpful for you in building strategies on things to buy for your homestead that are really efficient we've had it up for a couple weeks zero problems awesome product and uh, I like it a lot. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you how we build our automatic chicken waterers. Be awesome today and help each other today. Have a great day. See you later, bye.